convicts with death sentence ankit abhishek stay with us so just to reiterate for the viewers the 2008 amdabad serial blast also intended to eliminate and by eliminate we mean mortally eliminate the then gujarat chief minister narendra modi like abhishek kapoor is telling us had his visit to the hospital not been delayed he could have also got caught in the serial blast abhishek abhishek i want to ask you today the court has sentenced 38 people to death 49 were convicted did the court gorav bhatia of the bjp well well joining us gorav bhatia the court uh, in ahmedabad while giving a death sentence to 38 of the 49 accused clearly mentioned that there was a plot to eliminate the then gujarat chief minister narendra modi because the manner in which the blast were planned first at market places then at the hospitals where the the leadership of that time would have visited your comments on this very important development that has taken place the first of the indian mujahideen cases that were cracked in the country and uh, now ahmedabad district court slapping death sentence on 38 of the 14 and accused more importantly saying that there was possibility of the chief minister of that time having been targeted gorav bhatia me me all right i think uh, uh, the the call has dropped uh, with gorav bhatia will try to get him back but this is a very important big breaking news development coming in from ahmedabad where a district court has uh, while giving death sentence to 38 of the 49 accused uh, or convicts now in the ahmedabad serial blast case that was triggered by indian mujahideen as part of their uh, series targeting the country we had seen at that time before ahmedabad blast had taken place in jaipur blast had taken place in delhi in varanasi in bengaluru and all were carried out by this uh, organization called indian mujahideen which was an offshoot of the original simi that had been banned across the country even by congress government sir uh, clearly showing how dangerous this organization had become so i think uh, uh, this is very important verdict as it is panning out on a couple of counts the death sentence for the first time of this scale in a terror case perhaps for the first time anywhere in the country and more importantly the court observing that there was likelihood of the top leadership of the state at that time held by chief minister narendra modi and home minister amit shah having been targeted which i am myself reporting that uh, when i was present on the ground the dgp of gujarat at that time pc pande and the police commissioner op mathur they had advised the chief minister to not visit the area or at least delay it the chief minister ultimately did visit it these are the pictures of at that of that time of 2008 when uh, narendra modi the chief the then chief minister in the pictures he is seen uh, at the police commissioner's office along with pc pande the dgp of that time uh, yatin oja is joining us from ahmedabad senior lawyer advocate yatin yatin bhai you know big verdict coming in 38 convicted uh, and uh, given death sentence but more importantly the court was observing observing that the then chief minister narendra bhai modi was possibly the target because of the manner in which the blast were carried out yatin bhai yeah i have seen the uh, clips of the judgment and there is a clear finding that possibility can't be ruled out of eliminating both the leaders you named namely the then chief minister and the then home minister uh, it doesn't say that there was a conspiracy but it can't be ruled out that's how the court has put it and when court has invested so many hours has gone through so many papers have gone through the evidence of so many witnesses there is nothing that uh, you can uh, criticize the judgment of the court court in its wisdom has found so we have to respect the judgment of the court and uh, there is no reason why court should record anything which is not coming on the record so if the court has recorded there must be a possibility of uh, uh, eliminating the then chief minister and the home minister and uh, until the higher court reverses it that finding remains and uh, this was not a small trial this was a very big trial possibly first of its kind in the country that 38 people have been awarded capital punishment and 11 life imprisonment and as a resident of ahmedabad i have seen those days the whole public order the atmosphere of fear and panic yes please 
Yes or no? Yatin Bhai, I wonder why you are even suggesting that a higher court would uh, overturn this verdict. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, there must I'm have been uh, very conclusive I'm evidence because of which uh, not even a single I'm, bail was given uh, in the last 14 years. Kindly, kindly here, I, I think I have been misunderstood. I have stood with the uh, uh, decision of the court. I have said that critics who are saying they, can, they have to wait till the higher court reverses, if at all. I am not at all suggesting that higher court is going to reverse. Right. Who am I to say that? Who am I to say that? Right. Right, absolutely. So I think right. I, I have been misunderstood. Right, you stand corrected. Uh, Shahzad Punawala of the BJP is also joining us. Yes, Jatin Bhai, just stay, stay, stay back. I'll, I'll get in uh, Shahzad Punawala's voice on this. Uh, Shahzad Punawala, you are breaking that uh, the Ahmedabad court has observed in its order convicting uh, or, or sentencing uh, uh, 38 of the 49 uh, convicts uh, with capital punishment that there is likelihood that the then Chief Minister Narendra Modi himself was the target given the manner in which the bombs were placed across Ahmedabad, particularly the hospitals which the Chief Minister would have visited to have a look at the victims and, uh, uh, and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, and assuage uh, their fears. Uh, if you will remember, this bomb blast had claimed the lives of 56 persons, over 240 people were injured. And at that point of time, when this bomb blast took place, it was Chief Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah, who had constituted a special team to investigate this. And in nearly 15 days, the entire investigation was cracked and the entire uh, faction of Simi and, uh, uh, and Indian Mujahideen and others who were behind this were actually finished off in Gujarat. This was the power of the investigation and prosecution that was led by the then chief minister. Now this observation, and we've got a historic judgment where 38 people have been sentenced to life and 11 people have been sentenced or have been sentenced to death and 11 people have been sentenced to life imprisonment. This shows that the entire case, the manner in which it was investigated, prosecuted was done in such an immaculate and professional manner. But one thing is definitely sure that there was a definite plot to target the then Chief Minister of Gujarat, Mr. Narendra Modi, because you would remember that even the Ishrat Jaha uh, module had come to kill uh, Prime Minister, uh, then Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Joining us, seen... Special Public Prosecutor Amit Patel, who is spearheaded the case in the court. Shahzad, just hold on. Uh, Special Public Prosecutor Amit Patel, who is spearheaded the case in the court, uh, is joining us. Uh, 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 Mr. Amit Patel. What is the court's observation insofar as the possibility of uh, the bombers, the terrorists having targeted the then Chief Minister Narendra Bhai Modi is concerned? And any other special observation made by the court? I have not uh, gone through that uh, observation, but uh, there are evidence on record that uh, one accused has confessed before the, the uh, magistrate, and uh, uh, there is evidence on record regarding the same. Right. Amit Bhai, uh -huh. also, what has been the quality or the quality of evidence must have been good that for 14 years, not a single accused got bail except for the one who turned approver and one who lost uh, his mental balance. Uh, all the accused have been in custody, not given bail. Uh, that speaks something about the quality of the evidence gathered. Yes, uh, there are many witnesses regarding the conspiracy and uh, there are the evidence regarding the, the, the uh, official evidence. There are the many evidence which connect the accused with the crime. That's why the, the, we have examined 1163 witness uh, before the court. And uh, we have also uh, dropped certain <coughs> witnesses uh, the, uh, before the court. Right. And uh, uh, any other special highlights uh, since you were part, integral part of the process and you have seen the verdict already? Any. Other special mention insofar as the verdict is concerned, which really underscores not just the quality of evidence and investigation, but also the the will of the state to make sure that the guilty are punished. Yes, uh, the state government has uh, appointed four special public prosecutor in this matter uh, to uh, see that uh, the, the guilty uh, should be punished. Right. Yatin Bhai. Yatin Bhai, you continue to be with us. Now, uh, coming back to your comment, you said that uh, if at all an appeal happens, but you think uh, that in cases like this, the nation should stand one 
and a strong message should, should be sent to perpetrators of these kind of terror crimes that we are a tough state, we are a strong-willed state, and we are not going to brook these kind of uh, terror attacks any further. Absolutely correct. Everybody must rise above political considerations and political lines. This is an offense against the state. This is not an offense against an individual. This is a threat to the national security and integrity of India. So anybody who speaks against, I don't think, uh, serves the interest of the nation. Everybody has to stand by one voice. Because there cannot be a tolerance against insurgency or action which affects the solidarity of the country. Integrity of India is the most important aspect. Sovereignty of India is the most important uh, issue for all of us. And anybody who speaks in a different language is surely not serving the interest of the nation.